Rashawn Baker, we're barreling down the home stretch here in election season, and while Marylanders are not being targeted by the presidential campaign in quite the same way that their neighbors in Virginia are, they've been bombarded by ads pushing them to vote on ballot questions. You are a supporter of one of the most fought over ballot questions, the one that would expand Maryland's gambling program and pave the way for a casino at National Harbor in Prince George's County. Why is this something you feel is necessary and good for Prince George's County? Well, you know, um, I, I pushed the legislature to put to put this on the ballot, and the reason is um, two very fundamental reasons. One, it creates jobs uh, in Prince George's County and in Maryland, and the other, it brings in revenues that are desperately needed in Prince George's County. Uh, a high-end destination resort which I'd like to see at National Harbor, would bring in somewhere around $41 million extra money into Prince George's County, about $200 million extra into the state of Maryland. Right now, we lose somewhere around $550 million to West Virginia, Delaware, and other places uh, that are taking revenues out of Prince George's. Prince George's County in the state of Maryland. So I think this is a good economic development project for Prince George's County. It's a good economic development project for the state. And the other part that's <coughs> that's missing, I was in Baltimore earlier today uh, talking about uh, expansion for table games throughout the state. Uh, for Baltimore City, which already has a license for a facility, a gaming facility, uh, they need the table games to be competitive with the region and to build the type of high-end facility uh, that the mayor there would like to see, Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake. So I think it's a good proposition for the state and it's a good proposition for uh, Prince George's County.